Hello, hello, hello everyone, NecroBMX here, and welcome back with more Dragon Quest VI, Realms of Revelation. I almost said Reverie. It was the old, the old version was Reverie. Um, okay, so we got all the uh, slime shit done, we got all of the um, fashion shit done. I think what we need to do now is to use the Celestial Reigns and go to the Dread Realm, right? Let's do that. Okay, so... Here we are. And we can actually fly around if we needed to, but we're gonna go up. Up, up, up. And here we are, the Dread Realm. The party suddenly feel much heavier than before. The Celestial Reigns appear to have lost their power as well. So you actually don't have the ability to leave, and as you see, everybody's got one hit point no magic, and if you look at their attributes, they don't really have stats other than style and whatever attack and defense they would normally get from their weapons. And Just to kind of explain how that works, by the way, the difference between strength and attack is that strength is like the physical strength that you get from being, you know, like swole or whatever, you know, whereas attack is, is your strength plus whatever your weapon is. So there you go. Same thing with defense and resilience. So now, the more you know, right? Okay. So anyway, uh, yeah, we got a town very close by, so we're gonna head right there. I wonder what this place is called. Crikey, this is a real town, eh? Talk about Gloomsville. Huh. Just walking around this place is, dis is depressing. Almost said disgusting. This is Disparia. It's not much. But it's the only home we've had since we sucked you out of the blue. It won't be long before you lose all hope, just like everyone else here in Disparia. Disparia, eh? Sounds fun. Disparia. Sounds like it's living up to its name. This town's getting me down. It's just so desolate and everything like that. Okay, breaky. Oh, look at that. We got a seat of life. The drum solo of life. Seize that right away. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna hold off on the seeds until we get our stats back, actually. And you can see there's sort of an inn here. Let's check it out. I thought Greedmore Valley up northeast was bad, but this town's got it beat by a country mile. These straw mats don't look very comfortable, but you're welcome to stay here too. Want to? It doesn't matter. I see. You sure we don't need some shut-eye wreck? This might be our last chance for a while. I'd be worried about creepy crawlies sharing those mats. This inn's in a bad state. Good goddess, you really want to stay at this dump? <sighs> whatever. To each his own. She ain't exactly giving us the hard sell, I. Eh? I sure ain't planning to stay here. Everything's free here? You think it would be more crowded? Nothing against the innkeeper, but what a dump, I. Eh? Every man and woman in this town used to have hope and dreams in their heart. But then Mortimer threw us all into a pit of despair. He torments us for his entertainment. The more we lose hope, the more powerful he becomes. Huh, so the sadder they get, the mightier Mortimer becomes. We better hang on to our hopes and dreams and everything like that. A mini metal. Word got around that the lagoon had a secret path leading out of this world. I couldn't even count how many folks swarmed the place. They didn't find nothing, of course. Why? It's the nature of the lagoon. Once you dive in, you lose all desire to move. You just go with the flow. You shouldn't fight it, either. It makes for an easier life that way. People who give up without finishing the job have lost the right to feel hope. If folks had any hope of getting out of here, they might perk up a little, eye. People who give up without... F oh. Wow, okay. Oh, uh, oh, I just realized that Gawain in the party. No wonder I'm not getting as much dialogue. Um, let me step out. And... Yeah, let me... No, not that. Jesus. You, 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 and we'll do you. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. This is just a bad dream, that's all. I'll just close my eyes and when I open them, I'll be back in the real world. So what if I didn't work the first 50 times? The 51st time's the charm, right? I reckon this has kind of been a, uh, kind of like a nightmare. Not that her plan will get her out of here. Well, at least she hasn't given up all hope. I wish I could grant her wish. Quit picking on me, I didn't do anything. <sighs> so even when you're asleep here, you get no relief. Their dreams sound bad, but the reality here may be worse. This place is tough enough on the grown-ups. For children, it must be especially harsh. Crikey. Folks can't even get a break here when they sleep. 
what I get. Chimera wing. Okay. Oh dear, Grandma's refusing to eat. Not that she's my real grandma, of course. We're all perfect strangers in this town, after all. But we form what family bonds we can, even if they're not real. What else can we do? They're all perfect strangers, eh? Huh, makes sense. They were all plucked at random from the, by the Archfiend, after all. That old woman needs to eat before she wastes away. At least the people here have each other. She appears to lack the fortitude to speak. She is neither unconscious nor ill, yet something is very wrong. Mm, she's lost her will to live, eh? It seems like all she can do is lie here. It's funny, if I just stand here and don't move a muscle, I almost feel like I'll die right on the spot. Oh god, I said I don't want to move. I don't want to think. I don't want to do anything. There simply must be a way out of this town, out of this world. Once we find it, that man should finally find relief. Crikey, imagine spending your whole day trying not to live. Dying in this town? You can count me out. Hmm, I sure miss that lagoon. You know, the one to the west of town. I used to soak in it all the time, but now I just can't draw up the enthusiasm to go over there. Too bad the lagoon can't come to me instead. <laughs> Let's check out that lagoon. It can't be worse than this pit. So there's a lagoon to the west. I'm sure we won't lose our enthusiasm, but just in case, let's head there while we're still something. I don't know. Ah, don't mind me. I'm just taking a little rest. I'll get up in a few hours. Maybe a few days. Maybe never. <laughs> he appears to have given up on life itself. If he wants to do nothing, leave him to it. Pathetic. He's a disgrace to the martial artists everywhere. This world is Mortimer's personal playground, you know. He created it. Everyone here believed in peace once. They had drive, they had goals, they cared. But once they realized how futile their hopes of returning home were, they fell into despair. It won't be long before you join them. Mark my words. O benevolent goddess, bestow upon these lost souls the hope they need to live once more. Who does she think she's talking to? No way Mortimer is going to be the boss of me. Sure, I feel a little run down now, but I'm sure it's just a bug or something. Surely if people don't give up and keep searching, they'll find a way to return, right? Hm, just walking around this place is depressing. O oh, great and benevolent goddess, please fill the people's hearts with hope once more. Hm? Who are you people? Whoever you are, you're not from around here. Where did you come from? What? You harnessed the power of Pegasus. By the goddess, you mean to say you came here on your own volition? Then that must mean, yes, there is a way for us to travel back to the world we came from. Oh, wise goddess, all hope is not lost. Perhaps the spirits of everyone in town will spring back to life once they hear this fantastic news. Of course, convincing everyone that it's true is another matter entirely. Anyway, on to business. I can save here, but I'm not going to. Alright. Let's talk to this kid. Hey, where am I? Where's mom and dad? Where are all my friends? I don't know how I got here. This is scary. I wonder where he got snatched from. Poor kid probably couldn't even tell us, eh? It sounds like that boy just arrived here. Or perhaps time is frozen in this world? So that kid's alone. Oh, you'd like a drink too? Of course you would. Our L is to die for. I can't believe I'm saying this, but let's steer clear, steer clear of food and drink for now, Rec. I don't like the evil look in that lady's eye. If this ale's really so good, why is she giving it away for free? It seems anyone here can drink to their heart's content. Just who is allowing this, and why? <laughs> you probably won't believe this, but I used to be a mayor of a great Burgoning town. Now look at me, trapped in this insipid wasteland. How could a pillar of society like me end up in a place like this? Tell me. So it seems the people here simply vanished from their hometowns. He may hate. He may have been a big cheese back home. Here he's just another nobody. Mayor, I. There's something familiar about that fella. Still, we've met lots of braggarts. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Another round. Make it a double. You know what? I whipped a harmer once with my bare hands. But in this world, just lifting my glass tuckers me out. If I get too weak to drink, my life's over. Drinking in the daytime. Wait, is it daytime? It's impossible to tell here. Who cares about this? his boasting? If that martial artist tried to break a board now, it'd probably break him. Why is everyone in this town turning into weaklings anyway? Uh, uh, monster? Takes my sword, Falbies. Gah! Uh, uh, I don't know the dream about my monster slaying days. Try not to end up like me, you hear? This place will sap up all your strength if you stay too long. Sap my strength? Oh, heck no. My muscles are all I've got. Take them away and I'd be nothing but a featherweight weakling. His words made me very uneasy. Don't forget, the Archfiend created this world. We need to be ready for anything. Oh, let me not deal with that guy yet. It would be pretty much impossible to do so right now. Customers, are you for real? Why bother shopping when you got that lovely wagon to the west? Lagoon to the west, wow. It's just so... so... 
soothing. He seems to have little desire to do business, but the Lagoon to the West sounds intriguing. We should investigate further. Huh. I thought he'd needed every customer he could to get in this town. Not exactly the most effective sales pitch, that's real. Alright, that's pretty much it. Um, I will stay at the inn, even though I don't think it matters much. I'm going to do that. I don't think... I don't know. I'm going to give the town a once-over, make sure I didn't miss anything. Got everything. Oh wait, this stairs there. I didn't notice that before. Ah, oh, look at that. How many times do I have to say it? My days of forging armor are over. Done. Kaput. I mean, what's the point? It's not like working the forge will get me back to my family. Hmm? What was that? You've traveled to this world to defeat Mortimer for us? You mean to say you've come here on purpose? By your own power? No, I won't fall for such rubbish. Just another one more to more's ruses, no doubt. You'll have to try harder than to fool me. Now, if you had some sort of proof... Hmm, I've got an idea. The village of Dullerton. That's where my house is. It's a tiny little place nestled in the mountains northwest of Scrimsley. The family I left behind should still be there. My wife and my dog, Silver. They're both besides themselves with worry, no doubt. If you can travel there, I want you to give this to my wife. It's my old smoking pipe. Oh, I do need this, don't I? The old pipe. Ba 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 ba. Glad I found this. She gave that to me when we were young. She'll recognize it. I'm sure of that. Once you do that, ask her to fetch my set of tools. They should still be in my room. I suppose I should tell you my name. I'm Wynn. Max Wynn. Bring me my workman's tools, and I'll consider believing this tale of yours. All right. So we just bring that pipe back to Duller tonight. Simple. Well, once we figure out how to get out of this world, that is. First things first. We need to get out of the dread realm. The village of Dullerton lies surrounded by imposing mountains, yet there we must go. Alright, and we got a seed of resilience. I'll just hang on to that for a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we definitely don't want to get into any, any battles with having one hit point and everything, so we're going to run from anything. Hopefully we can make it to the lagoon. We did, okay. Here we are, this is the lagoon. What is this place? Ugh, this place stinks! Could this really be some kind of hot spring resort? In a place like this? <sighs> There's a smile on his lips. His body's steaming. He must have just gotten out. Well, at least he's not dead. Ah, uh, this is the life. I feel so light. I could just float away. Judging by his expression, the water must be extremely relaxing. <laughs> or at least he's enjoying himself. Huh, taking a load off would be nice, eh? Lotus Lagoon. Anything behind here? Yeah, this asshole. Well, snooping for a way out of here, eh? You're not the first, and you certainly won't be the last. But you're wasting your time, I'm sad to say. The strength you've lost isn't coming back. Ever. Well, not unless the people of Desperia suddenly recover their hopes and dreams or something. Let's see if we can do something about restoring Desperia's hopes and dreams. Huh, that fella ain't like the other Lagoon regulars, eh? So even entering the waters won't give us back the powers we've lost? If this is true, it is most alarming. Right, let's go in here. Why, well, I have the most peculiar feeling I'm forgetting something extremely important. It's... it's... Hmm. What could it be? Nah, he's probably just in a daze from soaking in the lagoon for too long. Isn't that always the way? Remember what you want to forget and forget what you want to remember. Well, if he's forgotten it, perhaps it wasn't all that important in the first place. Here for the lagoon, huh? Of course you are. It's the best thing ever. There's even a bar here. A bunny girl get up in a hot spring? Wouldn't that chafe and everything like that? I didn't come here for a swim. I'm here to find out what's going on. You know, folkish... Oh, oh. You know, folks sure badmouth Mortimer around these parts. But he's the reason we have our happy place here. He built this world, yeah? Yes, maybe we ought to be showing him a little more respect. <laughs> Let's agree to disagree and everything like that. Well, he can respect whatever, whoever he wants. Hmm, I wonder. Is it possible the liquor here is making people think like that, man? Oh, man. 
This sure hits the spot. It's funny, though. I feel like my strain's been draining ever since away ever since I got here. Ah, no point in worrying. It's not like I have the energy to do anything about it anyway. Crikey, the drinks are free, too? I'm getting tired of all this random blabbering. His strength's been draining away. It sounds similar to our experience. Hmm. My departed wife. I see her. She's alive. Oh, to finally have her back in my life. I'm so happy I could weep. Is he hallucinating? Funny, I don't see anyone old enough to be his wife around here. If she's truly dead, she won't be here. Talk to the bartender. Bottoms up, gents. Wash down all your worries and guzzle your regrets. I fear drinking that drop will make us forget more than just our worries and regrets. We came here to solve problems, not forget them. Worries? Regrets? Nope, not a one. Uh, Terry, you should have a few regrets. Nothing? I'll get some rags. And a chimera wing. Okay. Welcome to Lotus Lagoon. Feel these wait in line and leave your worries behind. So you can kind of control yourself, but uh, what we want to do is go this way. Okay. All right. Now we're going to start going this way. You can actually kind of see the path. I screwed it up. Yeah, I definitely screwed it up. All right, let's try it again. Oh. There we go. That's what I needed to go to. A mini metal. And a well. A familiar scent hangs in the air. The party seems to have returned to the real world. The withered celestial rains have regained their previous luster. Alright. Unfortunately, we still don't have any magic, but... Or anything. So we can't really do much. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the Celestial Reins. And we're going to go this way. And we're going to go towards the area that he told us about, Dullerton. Which we actually haven't been there yet. Because so the only way to get there is by using Pegasus. around here somewhere. Hmm. There it is. I never would have guessed we'd find a village so deep in the mountains. Hey, Wreck, isn't that Max Wynn's village? Crikey, talk about getting away from it all. You must have got yourselves pretty lost to end up here. Welcome to Dullerton, a village that's not even interesting enough to live up to its name. The house with Maxwin's wife and his dog Silver should be should be nearby. So we need to bring Maxwin back his tools. Whoa, it's Maxwin Wynn's village. How about that? Old Wynn was Dullerton's most famous son. No one made better armor than him. Since we went away, we lost the income from his armor, and the town struggled to make ends meet. Wynn disappeared, but his wife lives here still. She's looked after by Wynn's trusty dog, Silver. Such a gifted armorer would surely be seen as a threat by the Archfiend. I wonder if it's better to tell them about Wynn's current plight, or keep it to ourselves. Oh, sounds like Wynn was bringing home the bacon for the whole town, eh? Moo. It's a... cow. Seeing that cow brings me back to the bucolic bliss of my Ghent childhood. Nice udders, eh? 
Jesus, Jesus. A mini metal. See resilience. I'm hang on to that until we get our stats back. My wife never lets up about my supposedly substandard plowing skills. Reckons I'm too slow. I'd like to see her do better. The field may be small, but it needs one heck of a lot of plowing. His wife sounds like a harsh taskmistress. I can't stand men who spend their time whining. Hi, <laughs> it's clear who wears the overalls in that family, eh? Visitors? To the Dollarton? You really couldn't think of anywhere better to go? Well, if it's rumors of Max Wynn and his mighty army that's brought you here, I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's been five long years since he bashed out his last breastplate and vanished into thin air. It seems the villagers haven't the faintest idea what really happened to Wynn. We need to get Max Wynn's tools to the Dread Realm ASAP. Wynn's been stuck in the Dread Realm for five years? Blimey. I saw it all, I tell you, with these very eyes. Shame no one believes a word I say. Look deep into my eyes. A bit deeper, that's it. You think I look trustworthy, right? Sure, why not? Finally, somebody's prepared to listen to my tale. Now make yourselves comfortable, because this is a good one. I call it the loss of Wynn. What happened was Wynn was down in the dumps to an extent that was unusual even for Dullerton. He bared his soul to me one that night, wondered what the point of hammering out yet another helmet was. His life work was to protect people, and yet no matter how hard he worked, people were still being killed by monsters. I tried to cheer him up, but it was no use. And that's when it happened. He disappeared into thin air, ne never to be seen or heard of again. And that was how we lost Wynn. I can see why no one else. I can see why no one else believed this tale. That fellow witnessed Wynn getting zapped to the Dread Realm, I. So Wynn was truly troubled before he was dragged to the Dread Realm. Yeah. All right, let's go in here. <laughs> Visitors to Dullerton tend to make their excuses and leave within minutes. You're still here. <laughs> At least she's honest with us. Let's take the hint and leave. Well, that woman was certainly blunt. Hey, a pretty Betsy. But I really need those. But whatever. Uh, wait, Terry has it? Okay. Oh, actually, I'll... No, actually, style wasn't affected, so I'll go ahead and use it. Oh, can't even use it. Alright, hang on to it. Even though style wasn't affected, can't use it. Someone's coming to visit! Someone's coming to visit! This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened! Folks don't get out much, eh? That child certainly does not lack for enthusiasm. Are we really such a novelty? Meow. That cat's as laid back as the town. That feline has a charming countenance. I don't mind animals. Most of them, anyway. Let me think. I'm pretty sure there was something exciting happening once that happened once in Dullerton. No nah, way, that clearly happened somewhere else. My mistake. Dullerton is right, eh? It doesn't seem like the most exciting place in the world. At least it's peaceful here. Hey, look at that. A seed of wisdom. Oh, and it's an unexpected, which is not... A good thing. Um, hopefully I can kill this thing before it kills me. Well, you're not going to get any magic from me, dude. And I do still have my weapons. Oh, God. Well, what I could do is use free skills to try and enhance this a bit, but... Let's see. Um, things like... Uh, what should I call it? Boulder Toss... Try wind sickles. I don't think you have much. I'm not gonna have you attack. Oop, yep, that's what I was talking about. I don't know if I could even do this. Well, that doesn't matter. So I don't think I can run from this. Oh, nah. Alright, let's just. Let him kill me. That's fine. Oh, jeez, really? Well, I have money. We can resurrect them that way. Because it's not like I could um, use Zing or anything. 1610. I'm all the way back here, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't mean to get into it with that. I didn't know that that guy was going to be there. And one more. Alright, let's try that again. Yeah, it's dangerous to get into any kind of battles. Yeah, 
There we go. I like I can zoom there, right? Okay. Let's just go in here. Oof, oof. Oof, oof, oof. Oof, oof. Silver seems to have found something of interest among the party's possessions. Silver clamps the old pipe in his mouth. What's wrong, Silver? What's the matter, boy? Oh, what's this? What? Could this belong to him? But how? What's that? These people brought it? How in the world did you get a hold of my husband's pipe? Can it be that he's still alive? He sure is. I knew it. No matter how downhearted he might have been, he always had a strong will to live. It must be agony for him to be stuck somewhere. Unable to return. Wait, I know. These were the tools of his trade. They were once precious as his own life. Could you bring these back to him? I'm sure that once he sees these tools, he'll regain his lost energy. Here you go. Let me get Wind's tools. Ba 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 ba. I have faith that he will one day return to me. Though we may be apart, Silver and I are always with him in spirit. If you see my husband, could you please tell him that? Alright, anything over here? There's something here. Hey, money! 58 money. Nothing. And nothing. Alright, let's go back to Desperia. I'm trying to get through this quickly so I can get my stats back and everything. Oh, wait, I gotta leave the town before I... Ugh. Leave the town before I start using the Celestial Reins. I don't have Peggy Sue with me or Pegasus. Alright. Alright, back to Desperia. So he was in the basement over here. Hey, what's up? Hmm? You again? What was that? You've come back with my tools? Yep. Right hands win his workman's tools. Great goddess, these these really are my tools. I'd know them anywhere. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. I thought I was calling your bluff. I never dreamt you'd actually come th come through. And if you found these tools, why, that must mean my wife is alive, yes? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful news. I was so worried. Well, now that I've got my tools again, I actually feel up for a little work. Fancy some forging. I'll make a single custom piece just for you. So what'll it be? Pick one, and I'll get started. Um, I think uh, we'll go with the helmet, actually. Helmet, eh? You sure that's what you want? Yeah. Superb. Then I'll forge you the finest piece I can. A little behind on helmets, you know? It'll take me a little while, so feel free to rest over there while I work. Right, time to get started. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. Rek opens his eyes. An exquisite example of Wynn's craftsmanship lies next to the bed. It's the helmet of Max Wynn. Alright, we still don't have our stats back. But, you know, working on it. It's in the bag? Okay. Alright, so let's see. Um, it's actually better than the uh, Helm of Sabbath, but I don't want to give it to him. I might just give it to Terry, but oh, actually, it's a huge difference for Neven. Let's give it to him. He still has that Hermes hat, you know? Let's do that. Avast, that's some top of the line craftsmanship. That craftsmanship, it has Wynn written all over it. Look, that could only have been created by Max Wynn. The town suddenly is abuzz with activity. The party seemed to start to feel active again as well. Party strength is restored. And you can see that there's a... So I got our stats back. Let's use those uh, seeds that I found. So there's a seed of life. Right. And 
Oh, you don't have any. Here we go. Seed of Resilience here. And a pretty Betsy. Couldn't get here before. A mini metal. I can't believe I was ready to just give up on life. What a fool I was. Goddess. What would my dearly departed love have thought of me? Alright. Well, I'm going to stop right here. I'll see you guys real soon with more Dragon Quest VI.